Good morning. Welcome to Monday's Daily Dose. Paul says that we live in a sowing and reaping world. We reap what we sow. I've heard someone say once that we are the sum total of all of our choices. Because our choices matter, because our choices carry such weight, and because our choices have consequences for good or for evil, it's important when we're making a big choice, when we've got a big decision to make, that we have good advisors, that we get good counsel. The advisors or the counselors that you choose as you try to make the big decisions in your life are going to have a big impact. Alone, if you don't have any advisors, if you don't have anyone who can give you counsel, you can get into trouble. Uh, Proverbs 14, 12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end it leads in death. And I've seen this played out so many different times. There is a way that seems right to a person. This seems like the right thing to do. They've thought it through on their own. But when they get to the end of that road, all that they find is death. We need good advisors in our lives because it's easy for us to be self-deceived. As you read through Paul's letters to the different churches that he cared so much about, he often was telling them, don't be deceived don't be fooled because it's really easy to be self-deceived. The desires that we have for something can sometimes cause us to have a blind spot in our reasoning. And so our desire for something causes us to ignore some red flags or some potential pitfalls and we go for it and then we end up with death. As you are walking into a brand new week this week, in the middle of a pretty crazy season, you're going to pre be presented with tons and tons of choices. How are you going to respond to the different decisions that you need to make in your life this week? The good news that we have as Christians is we've got a direct line to the best advisors in the entire universe. At Christmas time, when we celebrate the arrival of our Savior, we usually read out of Isaiah 9, which says, Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Jesus wants to counsel us. He wants to coach us. He even wants to lead us down the paths that he wants us to take. So we've got a great advisor and counselor there, but we also have the Holy Spirit who is living inside of us, and he is there to convict us if we begin to take a step to the left or to the right. And so if we're listening to our counselors, we will do great. And on top of all of that, we get the word of God. All of our choices should be tested against the truth of God's word before we make any big decision. Plus, the Bible tells us not just what to do, but it also tells us how to go about doing it. And sometimes that's what's going to make the biggest difference. My friends, our choices matter. As you walk into this new, new week, lean not on your own understanding. It takes humility to do that, but lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 is the way to go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in him. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, engage your heavenly counselors. They will make your paths straight. As you seek the Lord for wisdom this week, I pray that he will bless your week with great kingdom success. Have a great week. Keep your eye on the ball journey.